what gifts have we got already today? Uh, let me see. Uh, some element packets. My wife got me a nice hoodie. Uh, she got me this nice book with some things that I can check off to do with my son. Uh, and just a bunch of little other things that you know, I'm going to keep to myself. You feel, Harold, like the knee now is completely behind you? <laughs> yeah, 1,000%. I don't even know how long it's been. I feel like it's been so long. Yeah, nah, that's, that's an afterthought. Yeah, it's all good. What's the first part of this offseason been like for you, and maybe what's the key to kind of peaking when the, when the season starts? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like uh, ever since the end of the season, you know, took a little vacation with the family, and I feel like I just got right back to it. And, you know, I feel like the offseason has been going great. Uh, my training has been going great. And now it's just about being around the guys, you know, learning the, the techniques and stuff like that that, uh, that the coaching staff uh, wants to implement. And... No, nah, but I think it's just about getting after it, stacking days, and look, trying to improve every single day you go out there. Howard, the last time we spoke to you, locker clean out, you know, you said something along the lines of you couldn't envision this place not having Mike Grable here, but now that that transition has happened, this new staff has come in, what's your perspective on that? How you've been able to, you know, adjust to, to the new uh, I'm not really going to compare, I feel like, this year to last year, but, you know, I'll just say that. And I feel like the energy right now is at an all-time high, whether that's in meetings or on the field. Um, there's a lot of excitement in the building, um, you know, with all the new faces. And, you know, you know, like I've been saying, too, is I just feel like we have so much talent. And that's what I feel like that excitement is around with what, you know, the potential that we have to do this year out there on the field. And But, no, I would just say the energy is at an all-time high. And we're just focused on, uh, you know, getting all the details down, you know what I'm saying, and going out there and stacking days much at all about being the longest tenured guy in that locker room and kind of what that means yeah it's crazy i mean you know obviously it's a it's a great thing uh when you could be with uh one organization for you know that period of time and you know i'm really just taking it one year at a time and but no nah, i mean i feel like that's a that's a pretty cool achievement uh, to be the longest tenured titan uh but i'm just focused on trying to go out there and have a career year this year have you pinpointed any parts of your game that you want to improve upon this offseason heading into the season? Uh, I feel like, you know, I've said before that I try to pride myself on, you know, being that consistent, versatile, productive player. And I just want to be able to be productive with, you know, whatever the, you know, whatever my job is within the defense. Um, and that's what I, that's all I've been focusing on. But, but no, nah, just play in and play out. You know, I want to be a consistent impact player. And I feel like that's what I'm focusing on this year is just going out there, cutting it loose and trying to make an impact, you know, the most that I can play in and play out. Denard Wilson seems to be, his motto seems to be an attack and be aggressive. How much as a pass rusher do you like that style of play? Yeah, no, I mean, it's awesome. And then you look at the guys that we have in the back end. I just feel like there's going to be so many ops uh, for us to be productive uh, up front. And, you know, I feel like we're all excited up front. Uh, you know, to have him come in and running with his scheme and the players in the back end and everything, you know, it could be like, <laughs> this could be an awesome year. You mentioned the excitement and energy just of this team right now. How much is that brought and kind of started with Coach Wilson, especially this offseason as you started working towards this new scheme? Right, no, nah, I mean, honestly, it just starts in the meetings. Like, he just brings the juice every single day and he keeps it real with you, uh, which I appreciate. And, but yeah, no, I mean, the excitement starts in the meeting room and, you know, like some guys have said, you know, he's a very detailed person, uh, wants to make sure that we have all the details for the calls and stuff. And I just feel like that's what we need. And I feel like uh, the excitement definitely starts with him. Change since last time we talked to you is Danico's departure. Um, what was it like to talk to him after he made that decision and what's it going to be like here with him? Yeah, no. Nah, uh, no, it was definitely awesome having Nico here, man. I swear he's one of the most underrated players in the NFL um, with the production that he was able to do and the consistency at which he did it. Um, but no, I feel like guys are going to step up and we're going to find a way to be productive on the inside, you know, whoever it may be alongside Jeff. You mentioned that back end. We do have those guys uh, you know, out there challenging and not allowing those free releases. As a pass rusher, a guy has to get home. How much does that help you? Oh, it helps a lot. I mean, you just got to... <laughs> keep your foot on the gas as a pass rusher with those guys back there. The quarterbacks, you take away that first option and he's holding the ball. It creates so many opportunities for us up front to go out there and be productive, uh, which should help us a lot this year. Hard to 
was talking about the emphasis on getting vertical and affecting the quarterback in that way. Kind of alluded to it being different. Some of the things you're being asked to do. Um, is it is it different? The emphasis that your coaches are are asking you guys to focus on right now. And, um, do, do you think it's going to be a, a, a different way that you guys try to impact the quarterback than in the past? I just think overall. Um, our mindset is aggressive, is to be aggressive. Um, and that's just attack, 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 and let the play play out while you're attacking. You know, there's no thinking, you're just attacking. And I think that's kind of the mindset that we're having up front. Carol, what's your relationship like with Arden, too, or a couple of the key returners on the edge, but it seems like personality-wise, you're very different. Yeah, no, nah, I just feel like, I just feel like we get each other, to be honest. And like, we like finish each other jokes and it's just, He's just like one of the best teammates I've had, especially to have him in my room. Because, uh, you know, football can be like a very serious thing. And just to have him in the room to be able to, you know, lighten it up a little bit, it's been, it's been awesome being his teammate. Were you off on your own during OTAs? And where were you? If so, and and would you, would you, what were you concentrating on to get yourself in a position to, to take off or whatever? Yeah, no, I was training at a facility uh, down in Franklin. You know, I, have, I had my own coach and everything to make sure, you know, to help me carry out my plan. and. No, I mean, I've just been focused on everything that I normally focus on, whether that's getting bigger, stronger, faster, or techniques, uh, rush moves, finishing, pretty much the whole, my whole deal that I got to be able to do when I get out there on the field. And I feel like it's been going well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Any changes to your diet or, or anything that's going to be different from your weight, playing weight this year? Uh, <coughs> maybe a little tweaks here and there, but I'm just trying to be. <laughs> the fastest, most explosive person that I can be.